Time for another episode of Chalk Talk. Carly Bell is back at it again with Freddie Maggard to talk the faults in UK's lines on both sides of the football and what the Cats need to do to move forward from the boss to Florida. Welcome to episode three of Chalk Talk. I'm joined here with Freddie Maggard as always. Great to actually sit down yes, with you today. Yes, it is. It's glad to be here and glad to be doing Chalk Talk, WYMT, always near and dear to my heart, so uh, let's get busy. Well, unfortunately, we don't have fun things to talk about today, but let's just, the Florida game, six quarters of not scoring a point. What yeah. do you think is going on with that offense? Offense is not clicking whatsoever. I didn't think that Drew Barker would go to Gainesville and struggle as he did. Uh, two for 10, 10 yards, three interceptions is not a good way to have your first road SEC start. I fully expect Drew to bounce back. I think he's a resilient uh, quarterback and young man, uh, but he's going to have to get some help. Off of the line's got to start ha get, uh, producing some movement on the line of scrimmage. Running backs are not having very many running lanes or holes to get through, and uh, the receivers aren't having time to get open and develop in the routes before pass rush gets the quarterback. So a lot of issues on offense. I think it all starts with that line of scrimmage. And then you go to the other side of the, line, uh, the football, I think defense is the same. Uh, I th with the number statistic, you just analyze the Kentucky-Florida game and you see a team that was absolutely dominated on the line of scrimmage on both sides. And until that improves, then nothing else can, can improve. So uh, somehow, some way, Mark Stoops and his staff have to fix the offensive and defensive line before you can move on to say we're going to get better in other aspects. It has to get better up front. Now let's look forward to New, Mex New Mexico State. That quarterback can run, can pass, probably tackle, do practically everything. Yes. How do they play how, defensively? How do you think they're going to be able to shut them down? Well, Kentucky just has to play fundamental. Mark Stoops talked about winning one-on-one -on -one battles, being fundamental better. I think that's what Kentucky has to do is just focus on themselves and individually improve fundamentally. Therefore, when they're in plays, they're in a position to make tackles, they get the ball carrier to the ground. A concern Kentucky should have is Larry Rose, the running back, has missed the first two games for New Mexico State. He rushed for 1,600 yards last last year. If he returns, the game takes a different, different side to it because he is an excellent running back. But right now, New Mexico State beat New Mexico a week ago. Can add that to the struggles that Kentucky's had. They're going to come, New Mexico State's going to come in here with confidence that nobody before thought this game would even be competitive. Now, Kentucky's with their backs against the wall, needing to win this game to go uh, into the South Carolina game one and two. Definitely can't go to the Carolina game 0 and 3 or be hard to bounce back from that. All right, well, thank you, Freddie. It's been a pleasure. I'm thank finally you. glad to sit yes, down with you again. Yes, ma'am. We'll have to do it again next week. Absolutely. Uh, this is Freddie. I'm Carly Ball. Thanks for watching. Good stuff there from Carly and Freddie. Always a good segment right here on WYMT of Chalk Talk. Well,